Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we will learn about how to use Angular Material or Mat Tabs. This is part of Angular Material full tutorial series with live examples. So far, we have covered many components including Mat Card, Buttons, Badges, Chips, Expansion Panels, List, Grid List and much much more. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. You can go through the full tutorial in the playlist. Please do watch so that you can learn entire thing about Angular Material. That being said, before we get started with practical, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel, like my videos and share them. If you have any technical questions or queries, please drop them in the comment section. I will be happy to help you for free. Let's get started with practical of implementing Angular Material tabs. So this is how our application we have done so far in the last tutorial we used expansion panel to learn and today we will implement material tabs. So let's get started with our code. So to implement material mat tab module first we need to include import it. So you can see it here that we are importing the mat tabs module. We have injected it into our module class here. And then finally, we are since this is a generic common modules where we have imported all the required modules, we are importing this demo material module into our app module so that it is available in our application. Now, once you have done it, then let's go to our app component. So let's build an example. I'll add a comment for you. of mat tabs. All right, let's get started. So first thing we need to do is create a tag attribute called mat tab. So this is first thing we do is create a group of tabs because we are telling that we want to have multiple tabs. So mat tab group is what you will create. After that, we'll create specific tabs using mat tabs. And then here we'll specify what is the label that the tab should have. So here I'm going to say invoices, the second tab I'm going to call it contacts and third I'm going to call it financials. So I've created three tabs and I've given them names. Let's So I'm going to copy in each of it and put it here and I'll call it contacts. I'll call this finances. All right, so we have created our tab group and we have created three tabs. For the first tab, we have given label as invoices. For the second, we have given it as contacts. And the last one is financials. This is the description that will appear inside the tabs. So far so good. Our ap application is compiled successfully. Let's see the output. So now we see that we have got three tabs here. And you see here that this is a placeholder for invoices since we are in invoices. Go to contacts, go to financials and you can switch over. In the previous episode, we created expansion panels. This is yet another area where you can use to create the tabs easily. This is how you can quickly get started with creating angular material tabs in your application. Do give it a try and let me know if you have any questions, any doubts, I'll be happy to help you for free. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.